Hello, H&W friends. My name is Darren Carver, and I'm one of the pastors at H&W Church in Houston, Texas. I'd like to share a thought for the day with you from God's Word. So this week, I've been reading in the Old Testament book of Numbers, the events and the activities of God's people following the Exodus, the escape from Egyptian slavery. God does a number of miracles to provide his people in the midst of these difficult times. The people aren't always alert to these things, but God is in control, communicating, and assisting his people as he prepares them for their future. Each time, his people end up disillusioned, somewhat tired, or really tired, and anxious. God then again provides each time in this anxiousness, in these challenging times. He gives escape. He gives direction. He provides water. He provides manna. Then he provides quail. All at certain times along the way, God then shows them the promised land. He brings them to the edge of the promised land and lets them see the wonder of his provision and long-term plan. God then directs Moses to send 12 spies. Of the spies that are there, they return to positive. We can do this. 12 not so, or excuse me, 10 not so positive. They convince God's people that this is a fearful and challenging uh, possibility to take the land. And so they choose not to. The result is that God gives them 40 years of wandering. As I read, I then came to Numbers chapter 14, verses 6 through 9. These verses caught my attention. The scripture says, Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes and said to all the congregation of the people of Israel, The land which we passed through to spy it out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord is delighted in us, he will bring us into the land and give it to us, a land that flows with milk and honey. Verse 9, Only do not rebel against the Lord, and do not fear the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their protection is removed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear. What a great passage. I was remembered today. During the adversity and uncertainty that we face, let's continue to trust the God of provision. He is faithful. He is generous. He is loving and desires the very best for his people. May the Lord, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, encourage you, strengthen you, and remind each of us of his great provision each and every day. Trust the Lord and rest in his good provision this week. Have a great day.